So we're going to do a quick re-review of his resume, but if you ever want your resume reviewed, um, <clears throat> there are two ways to get that done. If you want to do it in public, make an anonymous resume. You get in our Discord and you join the resume review channel and I take them from there. If you want it all done in private, I do that uh, in exchange for donations to my favorite charity. And you can find out um, how to have that happen uh, <clears throat> and fill out the form that will let you get private coaching or resume review. I think it's uh, right there. There you go. So if you want that, you can. Uh, that's just something I don't talk about much, but it's a good way I raise funds. So let's go ahead and do this, and then we'll get on to the main discussion of perfectionism. So let's see if PMA Dota has a perfect resume. What does anybody think? Here we go. So there's his resume, the top of it. Um, so uh, summary, nanofab assistant and junior chemical engineering student at Arizona State University with hands-on experience using metrology, PECVD, sounds like a venereal disease, it ends with VD, plasma enhanced chemical venereal disease. Ooh, I don't want that. And physical venereal disease, tools. Um, seeking a summer internship or year-round co-op with large company. Great. That's a good opening. List his key skills, list where he is in his education, um, including his year, and says what he wants. Good opening. Uh, education, Bachelor of Science in Chem E with a philosophy minor, graduating in two years. That's weird. I guess you're thinking you're a junior already this fall or something. Because otherwise, it would be weird that you're two years out. Um, so that that a little bit makes it seem like you're lying about being a junior, but maybe you're writing your resume for the future. So I wouldn't give it out this way this year, or I'd explain that. Because junior, well, it's, it's once it becomes next fall, you're a junior. So I get the point. Um, some people use the word rising junior as a way of clarifying that. Like, what will you be in in the fall? Anyway, you have a good GPA. Congratulations. Put it on your resume. Um, <clears throat> okay. Professional experience. Arizona State, Nanofab, Tempe, Arizona, clean room assistant. Independently manage the scheduling and training of over 50 students on metrology and photolithography tools. Uh, saving senior process engineers 100 plus hours of training time. He's heard about STAR, did a good job saying what he did, but also what the results and impact were. Assisted senior process engineers with statistical process controls. Um, nice, doesn't tell me much why or any detail. Towards what end, with what result. You know that though. Um, completed one-on-one -on -one training on these tools. Uh, again, to what end? What can you do? Are you competent to use them? Does the one-on-one -on -one training mean you did the training or you were trained? Um, so I would try and clarify that a little bit. Obtained hydrofluoric acid lab safety and fire prevention training. Um, obtained is a weak word. Completed uh, might be better. Um, <clears throat> Analyze conformality of different thin film deposition techniques. Again, why? So you kind of started off well using um, star on your first thing and then you missed it on the next four. So I would go back and try and give some results or impact on those four. Um, <clears throat> okay. Uh, chemistry, thin layer, uh, technical skills. So you relist some stuff that's fine. Relevant projects. Uh, when you did them. Um, so you use VBA to create a database. Uh, this is somewhat good if this is a decent result. Automatically generated yearly chemical usage reports to demonstrate Nanofab's compliance with OSHA chemical storage requirements. Okay, uh, you know, I'd want to. I'd put the word to successfully demonstrate. Then it sounds like you had a result. Uh, hydropower plant design, design a scale model of a hydropower plant. Um, where did you do this, I wonder? You didn't do it at Nanofab, so it's missing the where, um, and that would be helpful. 
Uh, what else? Collaborated with a diverse group of engineers to present the design to an audience of 30 faculty and students. I mean, it's a student project, but I'm giving you feedback like it was more than that. Leadership experience. This is good. You have leadership experience and you can cite it. That's actually a strong section for a student. Um, captain of the Dota team. Um, nobody's going to know what Dota is mainly, but uh, that's okay. You schedule it, it says you led something, which is fine. So I wouldn't normally put esports on a resume for a, a chemical engineering job, but putting it dead last at the bottom under leadership is fine. All right. Um, <clears throat> so overall, chat, this was a quick re review. How would you, um, uh, how would you? How would chat rate this? Uh, I put 18,000 hours into Dota. Oh boy. I would not put that on my resume. Uh, that is an unbelievable amount of time. Uh, how many years have you been playing it? Because 18,000 hours, uh, a, a regular, for those of you who haven't done the math, a regular full-time work year is 2,000 hours. That's 40 hours a week. Even if he was playing 80 hours a week, it's taken him four and a half years to put that in. Since 2000, so he's putting in a full-time job of hours um, since 2012. Uh, that's amazing. So what's Ligerbox? For something as complex as NMR, you might want to specify what level of competency. Yeah, I'm with Liger on that. Um, people are giving you a B plus and that's where I feel it is. Um, I wanted to give you an A or an A minus but you kind of lost me by being thin on the results in here. The difference between the B plus and the A minus is these four bullets didn't have results. Um, if they had, you'd be at A minus. Uh, the rest of the resume though is pretty solid, like fix that and then some of the small stuff we talked about. Uh, maybe clarify up here a little bit, just the junior versus May 2022 thing. Uh, but otherwise I think it's good. Like this resume can be made A minus to, to A with 10 minutes of editing. So go get it done. <sighs> ah, so this is a good point to talk about perfectionism. Um, how perfect is good enough? You will find I did not try to tell PMA Dota how to make this resume exactly perfect. He could add color. He could use bold. He could include his picture. He could explain what Dota is or not. He could figure out, uh, you know, I could argue that technical skills could go at the bottom. I think with a resume, you want a resume that is good enough to get the job done without thinking that resumes are going to get you the job. Resumes are going to get you a phone screen for the job, maybe, or an interview. And that's all they're supposed to do. So having the most perfect, beautiful resume on the world, not needed. Having a really effective tool for the job needed. Um, so you can spend a lot of time perfecting your resume a lot beyond this. I would, I would give this one another 10 to 30 minutes and then I would go get the job. Hephaestus, thank you for the ongoing sub. You're only one month behind 40 Pink Dragons. You've been with us a long time. Here's to you.